it's a full, complete, continuous record from the present day to as old as the oldest ice in this sample is. And, you know, we know it's at least 1.2 million years old at the bottom. It could be 1.5, it could be older. We won't know until we've finished the analyses. It's having that continuous record of what the climate was like on Earth uh, and direct measurements. You know, people often talk about the atmospheric air that gets trapped in ice cores. That's a very direct measurement. But the number of proxy measurements you can make are huge. There's the classics of looking at the isotopes of the elements in the water itself, in the water ice itself. Um, they're an excellent proxy for what the temperatures were like in the areas around. You can look at uh, ash that's come from major volcanic eruptions, you know, the kind of eruptions that will cover the whole world in ash. You can see that in the ice. I've, I've, you know, I've drilled samples of ice and you can see this little yellow band where this ash is stuck there. You can look at biology in the ice, you know, stuff that's been microscopic um, phytoplankton that have been uh, blown in from the sea and end up on the land, uh, you can infer so many different things.